find the integer solutions given those two equations. So first thing I notice is that their difference is one. So hopefully I can subtract from one the other and there could be some common factor. So two minus one, that will give us a plus bc minus ab minus c equals one. Common factor a. So a times one minus b. Common factor c. So plus c times b minus one equals one. Common factor one minus b. Here's b minus one. So one minus b times a. So change the sign. Minus c equals one. There are only two possibilities, right? They, this and that, both be negative one or both, uh, both one or both negative one. So, one minus b equal one, a minus c equal one. <clears throat> or, one minus b equals negative one and a minus c equals negative one also. So, first case scenario. I have b equals 0. Now, if b equals 0, I have a plus 0 equals 2021. 20, so, a is equal 2021. 20, and c is equal, similar. So, 0 plus c equals 2020. 20, so, c equals 2020. 20. Right, that's first possibility. And second possibility is is when you have b is equal to 2, <clears throat> right? then you can have, uh, let's use this one, so a plus 2c, a plus 2c equals 2021. 20, and also, instead of using, instead of using the first equation, I'm going to use the, this equation. So, which means I'm going to represent C in terms of A. Right, C is equal to A plus 1. Right, that'll uh, save me some, you know, that'll make the calculation a little easier. So in that way, I have A plus 2 times C. Right, C is already A plus 1. And that's equal to 2021. 20, so I can easily just... Just calculate 3a, right? 3a plus 2, 2 to the other side. So equals 2019. Right, so in this, in this case, a is equal to 6, 7, 3. Right? And also for following this equation, I have c is equal to a plus 1, that's 6, 7, 4, like I said. Uh, so this way, calculation is a little easier. So I have second solution, which is A is equal to 6, 7, 3. B is equal to, like I said, equal 2 in this case. Right? Followed by C is equal to 6, 7, 4. 